find out. Uh, as was mentioned, the allocation for ARPA, which was the American Rescue Plan Act, uh, when this first came out, the funds which were distributed nationwide by population, which is probably the only fair time the government actually did something by population only, uh, the money was allocated, we were paid in two installments, and the direction on how we could use the money changed almost daily. Certainly every month there was a report out that said, here's how you can use it, etc. When it first came out, it said it had to be directly related to uh, COVID. And that's kind of what we did. So you'll notice the beginning there, you know, the, the bathrooms, you know, the elevated hygiene, improved ventilation, touchless fixtures. The HVAC totally replaced in the town. And you'll notice that the, on the bottom of the spreadsheet, it talks about MERV 16 air filtration purification system. I don't think anybody's got that in their houses. It's pretty extensive. Uh, we had a the staff uh, COVID requital, uh, dollar an hour for people that worked during that time frame. And then it changed a little bit more, and then they said anything that could be considered town expenses or town, a normal town function, you can use. So they kind of opened it up a little bit, but you'll notice then we also had in there uh, money for the Town Hall remote access meetings and the website up, update. The Beach Road Bridge we just talked about, that, that number is just a general number because we don't know what that's going to really be. Uh, the police garage, uh, and again, it details there that it's 100000 from ARPA, 130 from the Town Hall Improvement Fund, and 270 from Landfill. The pumper tender, the equipment showed up early, so we had to uh, pay for it. So that was done. The only thing on this spreadsheet that the board has not approved yet is the last one, and we'll be having a meeting, I don't know if it's next week or the week after, uh, talking about town mission, vision, statements, and a strategic plan. So that's in there. So you'll notice that we've allocated all but $7,300. There's still a little bit of movement that could occur with the Beach Road bridge repairs. It could be less than that, it could be more than that, but that also could be handled with our normal road program, which is a, a borrowing uh, issue town budget time. So we have until the end of next year to spend it, is that correct, Ken? End of next year, end of this year? 2024. So at the end of next year, it has to all be spent and then to give you another year to finish up the paperwork. And there's reporting that Ken has to do on this uh, also. So, any questions on ARPA? If you remember back in 2010, there was a similar program that was called ARA, American Resource and Recovery Act. That one was uh, designated for infrastructure only. This one kind of opened it up to just about anything that the government would, could or would do. So, questions? Anyone? Okay. Do we have any kind of question? Yeah. You want me to go back up there? Yeah, please. I don't want to misstate your question. <laughs> this is related to what I brought up at the last town board meeting with uh, regards to the uh, 1,485 feet on St. Peter's Road for the ATV uh, adoption. Oh, okay, so now we're under uh, any other business. So we're done with ARPA, nobody had any other questions with ARPA, correct? So now we're on the, the item called any other business the town meeting has jurisdiction over per 60.11 sub six. Okay. That's what you're speaking to? Yeah. Okay. So you made some notes last time I asked you the question at the town board meeting. Have you followed up with any of that or is anything moving forward with that? Uh, tonight would have been our next Tri-Troy meeting, but with this meeting, both the town of Troy and us are doing this meeting. So next month, I'll bring that up. Okay. You I mentioned you mentioned St. Peter's Road. You mentioned Town Lane Road. Yeah, off of Highway 20. There's just two short little sections there that the village has jurisdiction on that will help complete our ATV use of the roads. And I, the, the counties is going into effect, I believe, uh, July 1st, 
and hopefully we can get things lined up beforehand so once that transitions then the village could opt that little short section those two little short sections in and that would help our whole trail system okay and as you know the counties one they're allowing it within our jurisdiction they don't direct it that's still a, a town board decision whether or not to open up the county roads to atv utv all right, we're still on um, any other business? This is kind of advice to the uh, to the board. Yes, sir. Make you get up there. All right. I live on uh, South Shore Drive and we had a lot of construction going on for over a year, maybe two years now, and the road is in not very good shape. Is there any time schedule that uh, Tom's gonna to start looking at uh, repairing or replacing uh, parts of the road? Okay, um, I think Todd could answer that, but we use a pacer system, we rate the roads, and then we've been doing about six, seven, eight hundred thousand a year. Um, Todd, is that anywhere on the list coming up, or don't you know? That is actually going to be a fight with three of the homeowners down there, because it's down towards the end where it's gotten really bad. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. I've been with the building inspector, because he's got a hand in it with permits, and allowing people to start with the building, and we might start holding permits up and not letting certain builders build in the town, because of if they don't replace, help replace the cost of that road. Right, so the damage damage was caused by the uh, the builder no, the construction. The heavy trucks going on. Yeah. yeah, and normally that that is their responsibility. If there wasn't a road to start with, I don't know if that was the case there or not. No, the no, South Shore Drive has been there a long time. No, I mean as far as the shape it was in before these three houses were. No, out. it was okay. It was okay. Okay. All right. No, no dates yet. No. Okay. Lady, thank you. Keep it as a agenda. Okay. All right, anyone else? I have a question. Go on up. Uh, Carla George, Eastern East Bridge Village. Um, when we do have lawsuits against the town, where does that fall within the budget, Kim? Lawsuits? Yeah, like if, if you, if the town gets sued. Thank you. We didn't hear the answer from Kim. Uh, if there is a claim, it goes to our insurance company first, and they actually kind of help us through that process. All right, anyone else? John? There was a closed door meeting month ago, maybe a little over a month ago, uh, regarding a claim that the former police chief had against the town. Uh, is any of that information available or has that still not been uh, fully decided? Is that not going to be shared yet? There are no minutes for special <laughs> Is there any kind of update we can get like what the claim is about? Or? So when the, when the investigation or the claim is completed, does that get disclosed, or is that just swept under the rug? Not swept under the rug, but it's not disclosed. Is there a way you can find out about it if you're in, in, inquiring about it? Is it available after all the dust is settled? Is it available for public common knowledge? I don't know under what authority that could be announced. I guess I'd have to look. Well, since the town's taxpayers are paying for this, Whatever the claim is, we should have knowledge of what's going on. That's only fair, I think. Thank you. All right. Any other any other business to bring up at this annual meeting? Mary, you're just in time for us to quit.
Yes, your good luck, John. John Becker, you made a motion to adjourn? John Becker made a motion to adjourn. Do we have a second? John, John Degelski. All right, on the motion to adjourn, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? None. Both carries. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.